Kyle, it's way past your bedtime. Dude, it's too noisy. I can't sleep. Do I at least get a bedtime story? <sighs> Fine. Once upon a time, there was a tiny little boy who couldn't fall asleep. Loud noises scared him and made him wet the bed. Everyone goes at their own pace, Josh. Anyway, one day the little boy found a magical case called the Defined Sea by Fractal Design. Impressed by its minimalistic Scandinavian design, he hopped inside to investigate. The interior of the case was roomy without being too big offering plenty of room for him to frolic and play. The little boy was amazed by the full-length PSU shroud and ample cooling airflow. And then he saw it. A whole wall to support all of his liquid cooling gear. The best part was a large side panel window, so he didn't have to be afraid of the dark. The little boy built happily ever after. The case of your dreams is finally here. Click the link in the description to learn more about the Defined C from Fractal Design. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today, I am first off shooting from the brand new studio, which is obviously not complete yet. So sorry, it's kind of a bland background for now, but it's a work in progress and things are coming along really nicely. So I uh, can't wait to show you guys the studio tour when it's all finished. Um, but we are, we are here for, for other things. We are actually doing a Threadripper unboxing, world's first, mind you, even though it's probably going up at, at the same time as a bunch of other tech tubers and stuff. I received two packages from AMD last week and I, I don't know why two but uh, i'm not exactly sure which one to open first wifey sauce uh which uh the uh, the nice case here or the ominous cardboard box i think it's the cardboard box cardboard box the black case looks extra special it even has the bitwit logo on the front so. it that is true yeah this does have a one-of-a-kind bitwit logo uh, it's a really nice really nice kind of pelican case that's customized for the channel, so very excited to actually receive this. This is a beautiful case. So we'll put this aside for now, save it for last. All right, so let's go with this guy first. Uh, you can see I, I just couldn't contain my excitement when I first got the package, so I did cut the box open and, and just lifted these flaps to peer inside, but I didn't really see much other than this AIO here, Thermaltake Flow Ring 360, premium edition RGB. Uh, so it's a 360 rad, I'm assuming, AIO with uh, an included TR4 bracket one would assume. Some bubble wrap. Looks like it's been packaged very securely and safely. So here it says Ryzen Threadripper. The components you need to create the ultimate desktop system platform. Unlocked, unrestrained, uncompromising. So this, I think these boxes are, these are just empty. These are for, for packaging, just for spacing and stuff. I better not throw a box that has the processor in it. All right. Ah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So inside the box, first thing we we see here, some G-Scale RAM, looks like RGB, 3200 speed, 16 gig kit. So two by eight gig sticks. There's actually two of them here. So in total, it gives us about 32 gigs to work with. Very nice. I could use these for a bunch of different things. ROG Zenith Extreme. This motherboard is absolutely insane. I got a chance to check it out at Computex. It's an X399 platform, of course, on the new chipset, TR4 socket. Oh my God, why is it so heavy? This is the heavy, it's because of the friggin' socket. The socket is like just pure metal. It's the biggest socket I've ever seen. Look at this guy, holy moly. Look at that socket. Dim.2 slot, so you can pop a couple uh, M.2 SSDs on there um, right next to the RAM. And then we've got a really nice sort of heat sink over the uh, the chipset. My goodness, this is gonna be fun to build with. Can't wait to, to use it for maybe a test bed. Coming soon, the Thermaltake Flow Ring 360. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see any sort of coverage on this. I mean, it's a pretty standard AIO. I think the, the main appeal here is that it's got RGB for one, probably uses the ring fans from Thermaltake, uh, but it's also TR4 compatible. So that's pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see how well this cools the 1950X, assuming of course AMD has sent us one. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, wow, my goodness. Yeah, okay, so, you know, Holy smokes, it appears Thermaltake and AMD are totes in bed together for this launch because they've also included a Tough Power Grand 1200 watt power supply, 80 plus gold. Good Lord. Okay, so these are just empty boxes. Nothing else in here. 
Here's verification. Let's go to the good one. Let's go to the good one. Let's get, let's get, open, the, let's get open the Pelican case. Here we go. Um, by the way, 90% of the tenants in this office building are lawyers. So they're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing here and what it is exactly that I do because I'm probably making the most noise on this floor right now. No doubt. All right. Oh my. That, that is beautiful. Wifey, you're gonna wanna get a close-up of this. All right, here's the money shot. <laughs> My goodness, whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on, what even is this? Look at this, just look, look at it. It has my, it has the channel name engraved into the CPU. This is absolute madness. This has to be a 1950X. Is this, is this functional? This isn't just for, for fun, right? I can actually install this and run it. This is great. I was not expecting this. It's a fully custom etched 1950X, what I would assume is a uh, the 16 core part. And look at on the bottom right, this is 32 out of 250, meaning uh, there's a very limited quantity. And I think I think it just sort of opens like this, perhaps? No, I don't think it opens at all. Wait, it doesn't open at all? No, 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 no. Oh, it does. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 go over here. Come, come on, come over here. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God, 32 out of 250. The, the etching job is just, I mean, it's pretty much standard, but it has my name on it, so it's way better. Put this back on really quick so you guys can see the backside. Looks kind of cool through the glass, actually. Boom. Oh my good guys. I'm very curious if this is a 1950X, because if you look over here, we've got two, CPUs, allegedly, right? Two, two retail packages. This says uh, it's the 1950X, so this is the 16 core, 32 thread part. This is the 1920X, 12 cores, 24 threads. Did they give us three processors? No doubt that the one that they custom etched is a 1950X. And if it's functional, I'll be damned if they've also thrown in a second one in the retail box. But let's just do a quick unboxing of the 1920. Oh my God, look, there's light. There's like lighting. <laughs> Wait, it's supposed to light up? I don't understand. Why is there a light oh, here? Oh, yeah, it is lit up. Oh, I didn't up. even notice that. Oh, it's because of the lighting in here. Yeah, lighting. it's because it's, it's really bright. That's true. All right, so I don't even know. Like, they didn't tell us at Tech Day how to actually open these. Oh, rip here. Okay, it says 1920X, 3.5 gigahertz base with 4.0 gigahertz precision boost. As I mentioned in the previous video I did, there will be an XFR boost of 200 megahertz, bringing us to 4.2 gigahertz, of course, if cooling conditions allow. Let's go ahead and open it like so. Unlock the power! <laughs> we certainly will. Uh, okay. And oh, wow. it looks like it just, boom, comes out like that. Wow. This is just absolutely, this is how every product, I don't care if I'm buying like $2 Skull Candy earbuds. They should come packaged like this. No, that's a terrible idea. I think there's a the metal bracket here that looks like it should come off like so. Uh, yeah, this is an unboxing, honey. You ever done one of these? Just kidding, I love you. And then we take the plastic thing off. You have to squeeze it. I'm smart. Let me try to get it out. Oh, all right. Oh my goodness. So here it is, guys. 1920X in the flesh. And uh, I think, I believe we keep the orange bracket here on. Um, so uh, we need that for installation, which uh, I'm not gonna install it right now, but oh, you know what? We should install it right now. Let's install it right now. Honestly, guys, I'm completely winging this. I have no idea what I'm doing. So it looks like we need a torque screw. And if I remember correctly at AMD Tech Day, they mentioned, ha ha ha, included with every Ryzen Threadripper processor is a torque screw for uh, for installing the CPU, of course, and an Asetek bracket. So if you actually have an Asetek CLC, uh, usually one of the, the, the circular ones that look pretty OEM, then you should be able to fit that uh, onto socket TR4 here with the use of this adapter. So we're just gonna install the CPU though. Let's go ahead and use this torque screw. We've got three different screws here with the torque fitting. Okay, look at that. Just sort of pops up, I guess. Oh, you want to remove that plastic piece. I remove the cover as well. All right, so I'm pretty sure it goes this way first off. And I think you want to sort of slide it into this tray, kind of like a cassette tape, if you know what those are. It's got little uh, rails that you got to slide it across, otherwise it won't fit properly. But that looks good. And then you just want to lower it down like so. All right, so this bracket goes down. So then there is actually a, a way to do this. You have to close it in the right order, or you have to screw the torque screws um, with the top middle one first, 
and the bottom right one, and then the bottom left finally. So let's bolt that down. So here she is, folks. My first ever installation of AMD Ryzen Threadripper on the X399 platform. Pretty sweet. I think this is gonna be a fantastic platform. I'm really excited to start using it and testing with it for all of you guys, and myself included. I'm really just super stoked. Now, before we close the video out, going back to my initial question, is there a CPU inside of the 1950 Xbox as well? Actually, you can kind of, you can see the CPU right through the thing. You can see the CPU right through the front of the box. So it appears that AMD has given me two 1950Xs, assuming of course that this thing right here is a 1950X, which I would imagine it, it can't be anything else. Um, I don't know if I can if I can run this. This, this is this. I think that's meant to stay on your desk. This is probably meant to stay on my desk, right? Yeah, I don't keep it. But why would I just keep it on my desk, not in a motherboard, running awesome freaking games and editing know. things? You don't really have another one. Why don't I have two? Am I going to be that guy who only has one 1950X in use? That is that is not who I am. Okay, and uh, that is pretty much gonna do it for this unboxing. Sorry it was quick and dirty, super dirty, uh, just the way you guys like it because, uh, again, uh, things are really frantic right now at the new studio, but this is really exciting stuff, guys. Um, let me know what you think about Threadripper so far, if you're excited about it yourself, and what kind of testing you'd like to see me do on it, more importantly. Always open to new ideas from you guys, so thank you so much for watching. Also, be sure to toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more tech stuff coming at you really soon, including this amazing studio tour. Uh, that's right around the corner. So thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Peace.